And welcome to another insight session. My name is Alex Ailing, and I am pleased to say today we'll be covering the topic of eCaddy and finding out why, in their words, why uh, they are the coolest golf caddy uh, to get you around the golf course. Now, as you can see on the screen, I'm pleased to say we're joined by our special guest, Sean Esden, um, Managing Director of eCaddy. Um, so, Sean, a, a very warm welcome to you, and thank you very much for joining us today. Uh, no, thank you very much, Alex, for inviting me. No problem at all. Um, generally, how have things been, Sean? Obviously, um, we've just gone from a tier system uh, you know, lockdown into a full lockdown. Um, how have things been going for eCaddy these past few uh, few months and also you know, the year gone by? Um, well, basically, last year was quite extraordinary for us. Um, unfortunately to say, because of the pandemic, because people were asking uh, for social distancing um, and obviously your standard two man buggy for, for golf was not allowed um, over in America. They tried putting screens between people. Uh, but of course, then everybody was getting out and going to the back of the buggy anyway to collect their club. Um, so that didn't work. Um, so it, it, it started with um, all the social distancing side of it. We, we had one club that called us, they'd got 200 members, um, but they'd only got four buggies. Um, so they were only allowing one person per buggy. Um, so anyway, we turned up, uh, they bought eight offers straight away oh, wow. so that members could be out there um, playing. Because obviously if you've, if you've paid your dues and you've, you've joined the club, um, and then they're saying that you can't actually play for another fortnight because there's not a buggy available. There's green times, you know, tea times available, but no buggy available for people. Um, there were obviously, there was an awful lot of frustration. From there, of course, it went on that mainly privateers were buying them because they were realising that um, not only, because firstly, they're immense fun. The, the, as it says on the video on our website, uh, no matter how bad your game has been, you'll still walk into the 19th, heaven forbid when they open a game, um, you'll still walk into the 19th with a big smile on your face, ready for a pint or a yeah. big gin and tonic or a glass of wine because they're just immense fun. But with the social distancing side of things, you can have a, uh, you know, a, a two ball when we were allowed two balls or four balls when we were allowed four balls in various different tiers and lockdowns. Um, they're only going to their own ball. They only basically are meeting either on, on the tee or on the green and they can do their own social distancing there. Um, but of course, they're not doing the standard thing that they would be doing in a, a traditional buggy where they're going over to their ball, then over to somebody else's ball zigzagging backwards and forwards everybody's just playing their own game and yeah. going to their own thing so as far as what the pandemic caused was was a, a rush for us um to the point that we already knew brexit was happening and we knew the chaos that uh, thankfully i didn't have a crystal ball but i just knew having spent most of my life living around the world and, and a lot of it in europe um realising the infrastructure from Brexit, what that would cause as far as getting things over borders oh, and through places. Uh, I envisaged that. And I also envisaged that, that the pandemic would get um, worse. So we ordered an immense amount um, of trikes and scooters to make sure that we'd got enough in rather than people saying, uh, yeah, you know, I, I need to play golf a week on Wednesday. Uh, and me saying, well, it'll be a month before we can get one over to you. Um, it's now sort of pretty instantaneous. You know, we have, I mean, currently, as we stand today, um, we have over 50 in stock uh, in various different colours and, and across the whole range, purely and simply so we can provide people with the trikes and the scooters as and when they want them. So, yes, we're kind of one of the success stories from the pandemic that, that we grew exponentially um much much larger than we were um simply because of it and because of, of brexit and uh, congratulations to you for that obviously in these uncertain challenging times it's also great to hear some positive news for a change as well when when brands are doing well and um 
yeah, it's a testament to um, to yourself, Sean, for keeping your business going in these uh, strange times. Um, moving forward, I do want to ask you, how, how did it all begin? And obviously you've given us a, a, an introduction to eCaddy already. <coughs> but, uh, do elaborate who eCaddy actually are. Um, yeah, um, how did it all begin? Well, funnily enough, uh, this may sound very odd, but it all started with my love and intrigue of, uh, of James Bond and the James Bond movies and genre. Um, 50 years ago, in 1971, yeah. Diamonds Are Forever was released. And as Sean Connery, uh, same namesake, of course, as, as Sean escaped from the moon base in the moon buggy, he was chased by the baddies on Honda trikes. Um, I was seven years of age. Uh, I raced schoolboy motocross. We lived on a farm. I'd got my own motocross track. Um, absolutely fell in love with these trikes. I, I just couldn't get over that, that these things had been invented. Um, I played my parents um, every day, every day. Uh, I need one, I need one. Um, I wasn't a, a spoilt little brat, but um, because I did race motocross bikes, uh, I was one of the first people in the country to get one of these Honda ATCs or ATV um, trikes. Um, so there fell in love with, with, with the whole trike thing uh, and stuck through it all the way to actually opening up a company, um, renting out trikes for people to use. I ended up with the, the 250 version of it, um, which was quite a frightening thing. Um, segue that to then as I got older, um, I lived on Mijas Golf um, for seven years in Spain. So that began my love of golf. Uh, I then became a TV presenter doing holiday programs around the world. So I was lucky enough to be able to play golf and go wherever I, I was. But I'd always got this trike thing uh, following me from my childhood. Um, and when I when not myself decided that I was probably getting a tad too old for television um, and uh, and certain people look better doing holiday programs in a bikini than I do. Um, I, I, uh, I, de I decided to, um, to source something else that I could do, um, as well as my own little TV production company that I'd got, and golf and trike, and it all came together. Um, so we started selling uh, golf scooters, first of all, because um, that was all that was available. But that's a a trickier thing to well, it's not a trickier thing to ride it's just completely different to the trike if you imagine if you've got a two-wheel scooter with your golf bag on the back um when when you ride to your ball after you've taken your, your first shot you've got to plan where you're going to park it because you've got to put a, a, a kickstand down rest it up so it's like it's got to be on some a trike you just pull up put the handbrake on and jump off it and take your next shot so we evolved into uh, the trikes um, and, and that's where we are now, predominantly selling trikes, although um, obviously we do still sell the scooters because people love that kind of, I don't know, madness of, uh, of riding a, a two wheel scooter around a golf course. Are these scooters and trikes that you just mentioned now that you, uh, that you, that you have uh, as eCaddy, um, what models do you sell? In uh, well, there's there's four in the range that uh, there's um the scooter which is called the birdie um and then you move into the trike range which we start with the eagle which has straighter handlebars um still the same power still the same speed etc cetera, etc cetera, and can be road legal if uh, if people so wish which is handy if you live within uh, kind of three or four, maybe five miles of the golf course, and you're not having to go on major dual carriageways or motorways, yep. uh, obviously you can keep the buggy, uh, you can keep the trike at home and ride to the golf course, play around and then ride back. Um, next is the classic, which is purely uh, a, a golf trike, can't be used on the road. Um, they're the ones that are very much loved by golf courses because um, they can be a single seat with a call box on. The others in the range still have a call box, but are twin seats. Right. Um, and a lot of pros and golf club uh, owners and committees were coming back to us and saying, look, 
we've got this trike, but um, somebody's been in, paid his green fee, gone into the car park to collect his clubs, and his mates jumped on the back, uh, and somebody's got a free round of golf out of it. So um, we have one that's purely a single seat. Uh, you can order it with a single seat or a double seat, but this one specifically can come with a single seat and the cool box. So golf courses like those. Um, and then the very, very top of the range is the rider, which is um, the same as the classic, as in it's got the big ape hanger, Harley Davidson style handlebars. Um, it's got alloy wheels. It's fully road legal. Um, as I say, they're all the same power. It just depends which battery you go for as to the longevity of, of using it before it needs charging. Um, and a lot of people go, obviously, for the, the classic or the rider because it does look so cool. It is um, Harley Davidson looking, um, you know, you feel like you should have a bandana and a, a tattoo saying ride to live, live to golf. Um, it, it does make you feel kind of it's not a, it doesn't look anything like any sort of disabled vehicle or motability vehicle. So for a lot of people who aren't disabled at all, um, but for various reasons, can't walk the 18 anymore or don't want to walk the 18 anymore, um, as in, you know, our, our American clients, who, who, who a lot of them don't walk anywhere, of course. Um, uh, it's, it's a fun looking, funky thing to, to pull up to the 19th on. Um, nobody gets up to open the door for you because they think you're disabled. They, they just think you're, um, you're quite a normal biker out there on the, uh, on the golf course. Yeah, I've got a question. So they're, so, they're, so they're the four that are in the range anyway. The Eagle, the Classic, the Rider, and then the Birdie, which is um, the two-wheel version. You mentioned, just as you were talking there, Sean, of, of some of the benefits already. You know, some are road legal. Um, some, you can, the one-seater, you can also have a cool box on, uh, on it as well. Are there any other benefits of owning um, or using an e-caddy that you can also mention? Um, well, the, the nice thing about owning one yourself, whether indeed you keep it at home, whether you turn up with it in a, a trailer or, or a van or whatever, and I must stipulate now because I get so many people, even though it does say in big, bold letters, they don't fold down to fit in the back of an estate car or an SUV. Um, you either do have to ride them to the course, have a trailer or obviously a van, uh, or what most people do is they just leave them in the, uh, in the buggy sheds at their golf course. Um, the nice thing is, is that you can play whenever you want to. Um, there's no waiting for a buggy to be available. Because they are so much fun, it, it enhances your game of golf. Um, I don't mean it makes you play any better, of course. It just makes it a lot more fun. Um, hey, what well, if it did, Sean, you could charge a real premium for that if it definitely improved your game. <laughs> um, so it, it's, it's, it's immense fun to ride. Um, because of the cost, um, which is, I won't use the word cheap because that makes them sound like they're cheap. They're incredibly affordable, incredibly affordable. I mean, um, as we stand today, uh, the top, top, top of the range uh, is less than £1,700. So it's, it's, it's quite a, a vehicle um, to own when you think that not only can you... Um, uh, you can play rounds of golf on it and have great fun. You ride it to the pub when they get opened again in the summer. Um, you've also got the social distancing aspect. You've also got the fact that it speeds the game up immensely. Um, although obviously a lot of people that we sell to don't want their partners to know how quickly it speeds the game up. <laughs> they still want them. They still want everybody to think that it takes them five to five and a half hours to play a round of golf when they could probably do it in two, two and a half hours. Yeah. Um, so th there's, there's lots of advantages of, of just the fun side of it, um, the ease of it as well. Um, and, and, and of course, um, it, it's, it, it, it enhances the day, basically. It's just great fun to be on. Uh, you've got your social distancing side of it. Um, and if you are, we don't, people think that these are, are only sold to people who've got a, to an age where they can't walk the course anymore. But we have a plethora of people, as soon as a 19, 20 year old sees them, that they want to rent them, want to jump on them, want to have a go on them. It's, it's not, oh yes, you must be a blue badge holder and you must be over 
70 to use them. It's not like that at all. Well, sure. You know, this leads to my, my next question, actually. In fact, you know, you're touching upon it now. Who are your customers? Who, who buys the eCaddy? Um, anybody and any, anybody and everybody, really, who plays golf. Um, I mean, when we, when we first started in Portugal, the first person to buy one in Portugal was the captain at Panina. Um, he wasn't necessarily can't walk the course, just thought it was going to be a great bit of fun to have down in, down in Portugal. Um, Mark Mooland, who is, uh, plays on the senior pro tour, he's bought one. Uh, Brian McFadden, the pop star of Westlife and now Boys Life, um, he bought one. Um, although sneakily, uh, it was actually his, part, his fiance, Danny, who was using it earlier on um, or later on uh, last year. Um, because unbeknownst to the rest of the world, she was pregnant. So, uh, so she was riding it rather than Brian. Um, the great Welsh rugby player, now TV and radio presenter, Scott Quinnell. He's bought one. Um, and then, yes, there's people in their 30s and 40s, uh, a smattering of 20-year-olds, but people in their 30s and 40s who just want something nice to use to get them around the course. Um, moving all the way through to uh, we do have an owner who's 99 um, oh, and I, I very much look forward to sending him a telegram the same as the queen um, later on this year uh, we're very much in, we're very much involved with um, disabled golf um, and when the Cairns Cup is available to be played again because we have obviously the American team come over here um, to, to play the European team um, that would be quite extraordinary. So we're quite heavily involved with, with the Cairns Cup as well and, and people that play for us in, in the Cairns Cup. So anybody really um, who plays golf and wants that extra bit of extra bit of fun. Amazing. So obviously um, I've, I've looked at your website in, the, in, in, in some detail, obviously some fascinating images of your tri uh, trikes and scooters. Um, obviously, you do state uh, on your website that um, you are the number one UK dealer for uh, golf trikes and scooters. Uh, do you also sell internationally, apart from the UK? We do, yes. Um, and, and the thing is, it, uh, although it says on the website we're the number one dealer, we are the only people who sell eCaddy. eCaddy is our brand name. Um, yeah. You can only buy eCaddy. Nobody else in the world sells eCaddy. Um, you can you can buy eCaddy in Europe or in England from the website, which is e-caddy.com. Or if you're in America or Canada, it's simply e-caddyusa.com because we have um, we're obviously based uh, here in the East Midlands uh, for the UK. Uh, we're also based down in Portugal in Guerrero de Rio and we're in Grayling in Michigan in the United States. So we have um, facilities and ways to, to transport from America into Canada. And obviously we cover the whole of America uh, as well as the whole of Europe now. And uh, apart from your website, you obviously are on social media as well, uh, on Instagram and Facebook. Yes, we're available as e various eCaddy5, I think it is, on Twitter, eCaddy1 on Instagram, and of course just eCaddy on Facebook. Wonderful. I'll see those uh, details are listed now. Um, Sean, I want to thank you very much for giving us your time today for a brief insight into uh, obviously eCaddy uh, and understanding why it's one of the coolest uh, trikes of golf scooters on the course today. Um, obviously, people keep a lookout as well. Uh, but next time you are on the golf course and things reopen, there are more and more of these uh, featured around now. Sean's doing very well uh, selling these to his, uh, you know, to his loyal customers, but also new ones that he's getting every month. Um, so Sean, thank you so much for your time and I look forward to seeing you, very much. you in the, the near future. Yes, let's hope so. And um, we very much look forward to you being able to have the, uh, the British Golf Show open and uh, we very, very much look forward to um, being there with you. Likewise, I'm looking forward to hosting it eventually, hopefully on the 14th, 15th of May um, uh, this year and uh, obviously keeping daily uh, updates with government to see whether that can still happen. And if not, we will obviously update everybody. Sean, thank you very much. Nice to talk to you, Alex. Have a good day. You too. Cheers. Cheers. Bye-bye.